Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Time for another seven minutes in the morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to give folks a few minutes to hop in here on Facebook as those notifications get out and get circulated around all the magical ether that's out there that is the internet. How are you doing this morning? It is a Thursday. Thursdays are thankful Thursdays. What are you thankful for today? That's going to be my question to get us started. I think I have a pretty interesting quote that uh, we're going to dive into some today. Great day yesterday creating uh, the content around this show and the coffee shop show. Boy, if you didn't get a chance to see that, you got to go back and watch it. That's uh, it's, it's all over the place, but it's in my feed also. Just check out the Unashamed Nonconformist right here on Facebook, and you'll see that show. We went almost 20 minutes yesterday. We were talking about rats and everything. You just have to go watch it. Check it out. It's good. I promise. All right, so uh, remember, as you get here, drop a comment. Let me know that you are here, whether you're watching live or on the replay. It's all good. Just leave me a note down there. Let me know that you are here. I'll do my best to say hi to everybody, answer some of the comments. And if you have questions while we're talking or input on anything I'm saying, that's all good, too. Leave that down in the comments. All of those encourage me. Let me know that you are getting value from our time together. One final note before I get into our quote for the day today. If you are getting value from our time together, I also would appreciate if you'd head over to the store, tomrigsby.com slash shop or slash store. Either one will get you to uh, the place where you can get your uh, t-shirts, mugs, all those things that show your support for the show. All right, so here is our quote for the day today. Let me hop right over here so I don't mess it up. Oh, and see, I already messed it up. Wrong screen. We are uh, So I titled the show today, Why Were You Born? Because of this quote. And unfortunately, the, uh, the, the origin of this quote is unknown. At least it's unknown to me. If you happen to know where it came from, let me know that also. We are not born to just pay bills and die. Wow. We are not born to just pay bills and die. So then that uh, begs the question, if we're not born to just pay bills and die, what are we here for? What are you here for? Are you doing it? Oh, those are hard questions, right? I mean, it, it, it's like we talked about earlier, or maybe even yesterday, I think it was yesterday, where we get caught up in the minutia, we, we, we get caught up in the details of running the day-to-day -day of our life, of our business, and we lose sight of the big picture. I, mean, I was even writing about that in my journaling time this morning, that, that we've got to refocus our time, we've got to refocus our attention on um, the outcome that we're trying to create on the reason why we're here. But unfortunately, many days it just comes down to, well, yeah, it's, you know, Thursday. I've got to figure out what bills I'm paying this week. How I'm going to get those paid. And, you know, I was telling this story to somebody the other day about, um, uh, about one of the, you know, kind of aspects of entrepreneurship, especially startup life, is, uh, hey, honey, I'm going to the grocery store. How much can I spend? You know, that's just, that's kind of par for the course sometimes. But we get, we get so wrapped up in those things that, and then we string a couple of weeks together like that. Before you know it, you're really just living to get through the week, to get to next week, to survive this, this client call, to fill this order, you know, whatever the case may be. And we forget why we're really here what we're really living for. You know, I like to say, we are all uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do work that matters. Work being the sum total, the net value that we leave behind in our wake. Right? And I used to, uh, a, a friend of mine used to use what he called the bucket of water analogy. Right? If you take a bucket of water and you shove your hand down in there and yank it out really fast, the size of the hole that's left behind is how much you'll be missed when you're gone. 
That was, uh, you know, as, as you think about that, that's kind of depressing. I want more, I, I, I want, I want to think there was more of a reason, more of a purpose for me being here. And there is. The problem is, it's, it's right over here. You just have to reach out and take it. It's not going to come thump you on the forehead and say, okay, I'm here now, let's get to work. you got to go do it. You've got to put the work in to get to it. You've got to put the work in to make it manifest and come to fruition. You have to do the work to live out that purpose. That's why it's called work, work that matters. right? Just living to pay the bills and then die, that's not work that matters. That's just work for work's sake, and I don't like that. I like work that's going to make an impact, leave a mark, hopefully help somebody have a happy, healthy, balanced life in the wake. That's my goal. My net value that I want to leave behind me is that I've helped other people have a happy, healthy, and balanced life. If I can do that, if I can help you do that, man, then I feel like I've accomplished something because you in turn will then be able to turn around and pay that out also. You know, my mom uh, taught high school for a long time. I think it was 23 years, something like that. And it, it used to be, I don't know, frustrating, interesting, whatever, that we couldn't go anywhere in town that we didn't see some of her students. But then at some point, she and I had this conversation. We were talking about how... If she had, if she taught five classes a day, and each one of those classes had 20 people in it, that's 100 people, right? That's 100 people over 20 years, right, that she has influenced their lives. Some for good, some for bad, some might not even remember, right? But there are some people that have been in those classes that she made a real impact on, right? So as I look at the work that I'm doing, I, if I have the opportunity to make a real impact on some people's lives, they may turn around and have a real impact on someone else's lives. And in that way, the work that I have done lives on well past me. So what is the work that you're doing? What's the work that matters that you're doing? How is that going to perpetuate itself beyond you? Right? Think about what you've got going on. Think about... The goals that you're striving for, are they goals that that help other people grow, that bolster other people, that build them up? Or are they you know, personal achievement goals that make you feel good and may or may not really leave anything back in your wake? I'll leave you with this final analogy for legacy. I, I've told this story a couple of times also. I had the opportunity... Um, year or so ago, a little over a year ago, to uh, give a eulogy at a funeral. And as I was preparing for that, I was thinking about our legacy. You know, what is this legacy thing that we talk about? And the chicken's over here giving me her opinion of legacy. This legacy thing that we think about, tends to we, we tend to think about as some big, huge monolith, some big rock monument somewhere that that somebody will come look at every once in a while, but I think that's wrong. I think the real reflection of our legacy, what we leave behind us, are the thousands of little pebbles or rocks that we leave that make the road easier for the people behind us to travel. That's what I think it is. So how many pebbles and rocks are you leaving in your way? That's the question for you today. Hey, listen... If you are having difficulty creating or achieving specific results, the, the fact is you have to do things differently. My, my saying usually goes, if you want different results, you have to do things differently. I might have to make chicken stew tonight. Anyway, if you're having uh, that difficulty, if you want to do things differently, a great place to start is the Fast Five program. You can go to TomRigsby.com, look up in the top right-hand corner, is a, a little bug up there for Fast Five. It's a, I think there's eight parts to it, eight part video series, uh, about an hour's worth of video with some worksheets to help you focus your thoughts, come up with a plan, uh, make time for it, schedule it, and get it done. Go by and check that out. 
if that is something that sounds appealing to you. All right, that's it for today. Hey, there's some folks checking in now. Eric, Ramona, Jeremy, good morning to all of you. I guess my comments are a little bit delayed this morning because I can see that there are people watching and comments don't usually take this long to roll in. Thank you so much for being here this morning. I appreciate it. I hope something this morning has been helpful or at least challenging to you. As we go out and attack our thankful Thursday, what are you thankful for today? What work are you doing that matters? What pebbles are you leaving behind uh, lying on the road behind you? All right, here's some comments. Hang on. Thankful for the possibilities of a new day, says Michelle. That's awesome. To help, to help the human race evolve to a better way of living. Yeah, Keith, I think that's right. If we, the chicken is just on a tear this morning. If we can help other people, if we help, I've got a, a note taped to my desk, right? How can I add more value to the people around me today? Right? If we just add value to the people around us, they're not all going to accept, if we offer value to them, they're not all going to accept that value. And the ones that do accept that value are not going to turn around and reflect it back out to the people around them. But some of them will. Right? And the happy people that are milling around can just excuse themselves from the unhappy people. I don't like being around them anyway. And it, the more the more value, the more good vibes you put out, the more happy people we're going to create. All right. Yeah, Ramona, that's I've I've looked. Man, I've looked all over the place to try and give attribution to that quote. I like to give proper attribution to the quotes that I use and uh that's one I can't find. Michelle says we are each like a puzzle piece. The puzzle is incomplete until we show up, play our part that we were created for. That's right. All these pieces are laid spread out on the table. That's a great analogy. Right? But we can't see the beauty of the picture until we put the puzzle together. And and sometimes it's one of those five thousand magic and five thousand piece magic eye puzzles. It's freaking hard. Right? It, I'm not saying this is easy work. I'm saying it's important work. Right? We have to work at putting the puzzle together in order to see the beauty of the image behind it. That's good stuff. Thanks for sharing that, Michelle. Good morning, Joe. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, absolutely, Keith. It is a result. If we help a couple of people, that is a result. And we can build on that result to help a couple of more. Abby, Joe, Keith, I see you guys are just thumbing me there. That's good. Abby, thank you for being here this morning. Be the example of the change we want to see. Absolutely. Uh, tell me who said that, Jeremy. I know who said it. It's just in random storage back there somewhere. Yes, definitely. Be the example. Be the change you want to see. I think that was the Dalai Lama who said that. All right, guys, I'm running really long this morning, but good stuff. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, if this has been helpful for you, be helpful to someone else. A great way you can start adding value is to share this video with them. Click the share button down there. Put it in your personal feed. Send it to somebody in Messenger. Put it in groups that you're a part of. Wherever there are people that can benefit from this message today, be sure and share this video. I will appreciate it. They will find value in it. And that's one way you can begin leaving little pebbles in the road behind you. I'll spend some time in the comments answering those, continuing that conversation. Thanks for leaving those. Thanks for the likes. And I'll be back here again tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, Free Coaching Friday. If you have a question, send me a message on this page, uh, The Unashamed Nonconformist. Or you can email me, Tom, at TomRigsby.com. That's it. I'm out. You have a great Thursday. I'll talk to you tomorrow.